Hi everybody, it's me. I'm back. Yep, I'm back again. It's Ann. Anyway, um, I decided I was going to do a tag that was originally put up by Smoky Glow. Hannah decided that she wanted people to do small YouTuber videos with a list of questions and she said I don't care how small you are or how big you are if you're what most people would consider a small youtuber yep we want to we want to see what you've got to say and I said well let me think about this when I started thinking about this I was still under 30 subscribers and today I hit 41 and yeah it's taken a little while but considering I've only been on the channel since about the 28th of August I'm not feeling too bad about this so yeah the first question is how many years none I've got a couple three months on it um the second question is what was your very first video about my very first video was a short biography and a statement about what I wanted to hopefully see happen with the channel and so far it's pretty much been working I've done some of the makeup I've done some of the clothing hauls when it comes to things like thrift store or you know sticking to budgets that kind of thing I've been steadily growing since I started the channel which just makes me very happy slow but steady I can work with this the next question is who is your dream collab or collaboration I'm not entirely sure um, there are several people on YouTube that I would love to do collaborations with and no we are not talking the top of the list I'm not talking about you know people like James Charles or Toddy or you know. they already do bazillions of collaborations with people that are way ahead of me I'm not no mm -mm. You know, even the the newer, smaller creators that James Charles just did with his new palette, they are somewhere in the hundred thousand subscribers, or at least several thousand subscribers, and I'm still in the puny numbers. Don't get me wrong; I appreciate it. It's a thing I'm grateful for. Um, I've already done a collaboration with one of my favorite people, and it became a six-way collaboration with a lot of people that I'm very happy about, and that was the Thanksgiving Glam um, that we did with six of us. I'll put that in the, the cards and down below so you can go look. It was a lot of fun. what would it mean to you to make it on YouTube make it um, as in like be able to turn it into a career I'm not entirely sure whether or not I would want it to become that intense I mean I'm 60 I've got grandkids that I have to help take care of 
it would actually be kind of nice to get to a point where I've got a little income from it because that'll help defray the costs of things like not having to use my cell phone as a camera, um, picking up the pallets, picking up you know, the clothes, even from, from a thrift store, you still have to pay for it. And my husband and I live on Social Security, so you know, it's a little tight. What is your goal on YouTube? What is your end goal on YouTube? I've already got my end goal. I really have. I'm having a good time. This is an outlet for me to be able to do things that are entertaining for me. Now, granted, one or two of you might find it also entertaining, which I think is, is a rather lovely thing, but this is something that makes me happy. I get to play with makeup. I get to go shopping at the thrift store. I get to tell people about it. I get conversations back with the, you know, with the comments on the videos or the comments on the Instagram or the Twitter. So, yeah, I've pretty much already hit my end goal. Now, how long I managed to stay at that end goal and not come up with another one, that's anybody's guess. I have a habit of reevaluating every so often and figuring out if there's something else I want to get out of a situation that I'm in. What is the hardest part about YouTube? The hardest part I have run into so far was just doing that first video. I, I have presented in front of people before, did so for years. I have taught and just taking a step of putting myself forward on such a varied platform was a bit daunting. It was outside of my normal range. And it took me a little bit. I thought about doing a channel and it took me several months before I worked up my nerve and did that very first video and then I turned around and did the second video as quickly as possible because I wanted to keep the momentum going I didn't want to overthink that first video and have to you know reassess whether or not I was going to be able to make another one What is the best part about YouTube? Well, that's already kind of some of the things that I've said. It, the best part about YouTube is I can have a conversation with somebody who's on the other side of the planet. I can start conversations with people I've never met before and I get talking to them enough that we actually become pretty good friends. It's fascinating. It really is. I, I'm old enough to remember what it was like to even try and call somebody long distance where if you were real lucky they were there at the time you tried to call and they would be there at the time when it was cheaper to call. If they happened to not be or if it was somebody in like military service who was out of the country, you didn't talk to people on the phone out of the country like that, at least not at my level. 
My dad was a bus driver. We didn't have that kind of money. Okay, what's the funniest comment you've ever gotten? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure because I have got some that are just absolutely delightful when it comes to being kind and being supportive and generally being nice. I haven't really gotten any that have made me just roll and laugh. I'm hoping that eventually I'll get a few that are just hysterical. That would be fun. What's the meanest comment you've ever gotten? Actually, I haven't gotten any. It's kind of like the funniest ones. I've gotten a lot of things that are very supportive, very sweet, very kind. But I really, I really don't have the reach at this point to have attracted the trolls much. They, they don't normally go for somebody who's only got a few people because it doesn't give them the exposure they're looking for to start up a troll string. So I really haven't gotten any mean comments at this point. I expect that as I keep going along and keep gaining followers that eventually I am going to have at least one or two trolls. Could be a few more. Now me, I'm not so worried about the trolls because you see as long as they're engaging on my channel and I've got all of my my requirements for making a couple of bucks. Every time they engage on my channel, it racks up some money on the analytics. So let them go for it. Let them talk trash. It's not a big deal. Just remember, don't feed the trolls. Just let it go. Don't argue with them, that's what they want. Don't block them, that's, that's attention. Just like go, yeah, you and your mama, and go on about yourself. What other subject matter could you create a YouTube channel about? Well, I don't think I'm going to be doing separate channels, but I could discuss things like some of my favorite hobbies, like making jewelry. I like to make jewelry. I like to knit. I like to crochet. I'm a writer. I like to write science fiction stories and fantasy stories. I'm a college student. I'm going after my bachelor's degree. Nobody else in my family has been to college. I'm doing it even though my mom said, you'll never go to college, don't worry about it. And I'm like, watch me. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's taken quite a while to get around to it. Why did you start your YouTube channel? That's actually pretty complicated. Part of it has to do with the fact that I have chronic illness and I'm not able to get out and socialize the way I used to. And I like to hang out with other people. I'm getting the conversations from other people by doing these videos. I'm getting responses. I'm starting real conversations with people about the stuff that I do. So that's one of it. Another one is I have 
a few issues with mental health and one of them is an anxiety issue that I'm actually using this to overcome a bit and being able to do that has made my therapist a very happy person she's thinking that this is a great thing for me to be able to do because it's making it easier for me to deal with people in like a group situation the camera becomes the other people the responses the the the, the number of responses that come back to the video help me deal with having more than one response to something I'm talking about as if I was in a group. Is it perfect? No. Am I perfect? Oh, hell no. I'll take what I can get. What video are you embarrassed by? I don't think I'm actually embarrassed by any of them. I haven't really done that many that I've really got a lot to uh, go back over and go, oh, this is awful. Ew. What I am embarrassed by is the fact that all of my videos that I've done since I started using the Filmora system for editing the videos since I haven't been able to afford to buy the package I've still got the free trial um, watermark banner on the videos it's like I credit the Filmora package for my editing but since I haven't been able to come up with the change to pay for the license, I'm still under their watermark banner. And occasionally their watermark banner is a pain in the tuckus because it like runs right through the middle of whatever it is I'm trying to show somebody. I will eventually get that off of there, hopefully in the next few months, very possibly after the first of the year, you know, a little tax refund use there. What video are you the most proud of? I think the one that I am the most proud of was that Thanksgiving glam collaboration with five other people it was in just just amazingly fun we all had our own you know it's like pick your palette do your thing throw some glam on it for Thanksgiving and we had six amazing videos come out of that. I think it's pretty cool. What is your first YouTube memory? I think it was when I hit the first 10 subscribers because I started seeing people subscribing that weren't part of my normal friends list from Facebook and family and that kind of thing. It's like I started seeing a few people that were subscribing that had nothing to do with that. The first 10, yeah, that was all family or close friends when I started seeing names that I didn't know I was ecstatic it was wonderful it meant that I was gaining ground it's been fun it's been fun this entire time 
I've enjoyed the heck out of it. And I hope you have too, following along. If you want to do this particular tag, the small creator tag, I'll put the list of questions down in the description. Now, Smoky Glow has asked that anyone who does the tag, please tag her so that she knows to come look at the video. So, if you do decide to do the tag, I hope you will remember to do that because she really wants to know what people think. Anna's wonderful. Go watch her anyway. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're a subscriber, I want to thank you for subscribing and following. If this is your first time seeing anything that I do, if you like what you see, I'm going to invite you to please subscribe. If you subscribe, please remember to hit the little bell icon so that you get a notification when I upload anything. And other than that, be good.